Let's see the radiographs in the right hand, holding them up. Let's see a rock. And action, please, Andre. Um, we are on location in Halifax, Nova Scotia. We're in what used to be a school, what is now a mental health community center. Um, and what it needs to be is a DNA lab circa 1983. We're actually doing 1983 and 1986. We have teams of people going back and studying exactly what happened, exactly what the processes were, exactly what we saw in the room, and it's us recreating that. The scene we're shooting right now is a scene between detectives and scientists. And the scientist is revealing a DNA profile, and it's really the first profile ever to be revealed in a criminal case. So the detectives are kind of scratching their head. It's just, it's not, it's not a given science at that point. At that point, it was still complete hocus pocus and really hard to accept. I think another key point in this is the first time the DNA was used to convict someone in a criminal case, it actually exonerated someone first before the actual conviction. The lead actor today, he's playing a scientist who is very much on the scene, a guy named Peter Gill. And the irony is, with this, is that the actor that they have cast looks remarkably like Peter Gill in the 1980s. Actually, a lot like he does now. And Peter Gill was one of the first scientists to use DNA in a criminal case. So in other words, the same killer killed the two girls, but it's not the killer that you think. Because his DNA does not match. So that's the scene, that's what you're saying. And we're even going to create that dialogue, though again, it's not featured. You won't actually hear it. You. Now if you've got a rack in here somewhere, can you rack? Give it to, oh, that's, that's so exciting when that works. We are recreating the 80s today on set, and my favorite aspects that I've seen so far are the two incredibly clunky dinosaur computers with wavy screens. It has Commodore 64 written all over it. I did notice earlier with my keen eye that there was a post-it on one of the dinosaur computers, and I would have assumed that post-its were invented much later than the 80s. I don't remember seeing them on the scene until 90s. Uh, a quick search yielded the result that they were actually invented in the 70s and were introduced in the United States in 1980, I believe. So we're right on time in terms of period. I think this show is certainly got it on, on the authenticity. I think the research has been meticulous. All the material that's been given to me. So I think it's my job to sort of make this visually come to life.